we're back. Bash Crandy here. Oh, there's so much to do. Oh. Uh. Let's see what we can do. We can do some time trials, but I got these. We can get some gems. Hey, man. I'm not your supervisor. We can just do whatever the fuck we want. I'd say it's a free country, but. Play target time. Oh, fuck that. Uh. Oh, yeah, fuck that too. Uh, I don't like getting all the boxes on that. So you gotta, you can't go backwards. <laughs> oh, every time I record, you start to meow. Then mate. Yeah, I remember that one being nasty. Uh, <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, ooh, ooh, no warm up death fruit. Let's do it. I've had tequila, that's a good idea. See you. You ever make a weird purchase and think, oh, fuck, that's gonna take some time to get rid of that. Oh yeah, I don't need to use priority fuckers anymore. Ha! <laughs> oh, you're still there. But it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I bought Patron coffee flavored tequila, like coffee liqueur tequila. When I kind of halfway through getting to the place I'm at now, and I was like, Ah, I'll get through this. It's fine. It's fine. It's like a liter of tequila, but what's kind of worrying is it's not even the first bottle of tequila I bought while I was out here. Thanks camera, it's not like I need to see the flying carpet or anything. Yeah, it's like, I actually like had a bottle of the Tonga tequila as well that I was using for, um, mostly for cooking. Now. This, this did not age well, considering the Gulf War. Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well... You know what's timeless? Scorpions. And genies, apparently. Bad Scorp- Ow! Ah! I'm doing it already, I'm shouting. Yeah, so I bought way too much tequila for somebody... who's like doesn't really drink that much at home and has also been buying beer and has soju and I've oh like I've been using it for pickles is that bad like it's really good tequila but I've just been sat here like you know what I'm just gonna use this to pickle onions and it's really good for that it's really nice tequila and weirdly, coffee tequila works really well when you're pickling onions. So yeah, I'll do that a little bit of uh, uh, of uh, cider vinegar, a little bit of uh, rice wine vinegar, a load of brown sugar, some water. It's really nice for my uh, pickled garlic and onions. Uh, yeah, seems like a waste. But trust me, when you've drunk about half a liter of coffee flavored tequila in your life, you start to go, you know what? Oh, kind of sick of the flavor, <laughs> like, you know? It's very strong and very acidic. Um, I don't know if that's just because of the transit. Excuse me while I drink tequila now. Uh, yeah. Let's do this properly this time. As in, do it the cheating way. Because we want to move on. I hope deaths in the bonus stage don't count towards me eliminating my ability to do the bonus round. The death route. Fine, I, w I won't. There you go. How do we make this already hard game harder? I know, says Activision. Just fuck, make it so the inputs fuck up like a uh, rough 30% of the time and are really contextual now and you could just pull them out at any point before. 
Oh, fuck it, yeah, get out of my face. Tika Wampers. Straight up showing you the Wumper path where you're supposed to double jump, you know? But, like, it's really hard to pull out the double jump once he starts the somersault, whereas before it wasn't. Ah, oh, bash friendly sheep. Ooh, and then he dies straight away there. No, he can't die. No! Bad monkey, why do you have genie pants on? You're a monkey. I don't care, this used to take up one per fruit. I don't think it does anymore. See? Number don't go down. Maybe that's an other myth. Not everything I say about Bash Crandy Coot is correct. In fact, a lot of it is me going, I'm pretty sure this is what it was like when I was a kid. And then me going, oh no, it's just that as a kid I was like, I have a way better at the game. Or I wasn't paying attention to the lore. The deep lore. You still got the fire out and that annoyed me. Okay. See, there's the fire. Yeah. Feels a little more responsive today. Maybe my controllers are just busted as fuck. Hoo-ha. Bad monkey. No, monkey, no! Oh, <laughs> fucking monkeys. With a deflect. Ooh, and it spawns you right by one of the bastards. Out of my face. Ooh. I'm mad. That's why they put the checkpoint there, then, you see? Oh, it's still spin on it. Uh... Yeah, let's just, let's just play the game. Tequila's fun, but you never get the good tequila outside of Mexico. It's kind of sad. Or it's just really expensive. Like, it's like the maple syrup of Mexico. <laughs> like, all the good shit's kept in the country, and it's really cheap in their country, because it's everywhere, and there's like thousands of different types. And uh, the cheap shit comes out like the Jose Cuervo, and you're supposed to be like, oh great, Jose Cuervo, fucking great. And like, it's just overpriced crap. And you're just like, oh, I want the good stuff. For eight US dollars, I got some really good tequila when I was over in Cancun. Really, some of the best tequila I've ever drank in my life. It's one of my favorite like alcoholic drinks. And then I ran out, obviously. That was like, well, that was maybe like three or four years ago. Fucking scorpion. You don't scare me, I ain't afraid of no scorp. Yeah, get over here. I can't tell where I am. Oh, I could have meant to have gone forward, I, I literally didn't know. No, I refuse. Yeah, take that. Oh, oh, yeah, we got it. That wasn't as hard as I remember. I think if we're going to rate those, that and the gold gem path on the earlier level, uh, you know, like to get the gold gem on Hang 'em High, I feel like the gold gem on Hang 'em High was harder. But you got to remember, I just did trivialize the entire thing by shooting them all. Oh, I was going to show that I was shooting them all. But I forget that they've kind of ruined it so you can't just shoot one of them and run around and just... Uh... Could. Don't really want to. Did. Don't really want to do the gem. I mean, we just did that. I don't really want to do the things. Just, like, have a high time party. Uh, so where was the purple gem path? Oh, that was... That was the one with the split path. This one. You're, you didn't see that, shut up. I think. Oh shit, no it wasn't, it was tomb time. This is the blue gem, because you can do this by earning the blue gem elsewhere. Fuck. It's all wrong. Oh well, I got a life. Bye. <laughs>
You won't let me keep that life, surely? We will see. It does not tell me. Yeah, I kept the life. <laughs> okay, let's go and actually do this one. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Tomb Tim. We'll get one of these gems this playthrough. Yeah, purple gem. I knew that. Shut up. Hey, it's been a while, okay? So a lot of this stuff is like, I don't remember everything. Because it was like, what? It came out in 98. I played it all and off since. 100%ed it like then and played through it again, not 100%ing it in um, New Zealand. When was that? 2015, 2014? So it's been a while. Oh. Sleppy. Sleppy stay out. Crash is drunker than I am. There we go. I don't add that much. So, yeah. Patron's a fine standard. It's like, uh, you know what you're getting with Patron. Jose Cuervo is just horrible. But I used to drink that stuff, like, swinging, swinging it from the bottle, so... Yeah, you can see why I'm kind of, like, sick of it now. I got so drunk on it, I nearly killed myself once, and then... Fell, fell on someone else at some point. Uh, I can't even remember what happened. There's a great story, actually. I was at a, uh... Garden party I wasn't even invited to, because uh, the guy was a fucking asshole. And uh, I was just like, all my friends got invited because he was trying to make a point of, we're not including you. And then he just told me, oh. Ooh. He got that up. And I just showed up anyway, so I was just a sup. And I came swigging a bottle of tequila in my leather jacket because I'm an asshole. And uh, all of my mates were like, yeah. And they, were, they came in like, one of them just sat drunk in a plastic chair, you know, one of those white plastic chairs. I was just like, I'm just screaming all night, uh, like completely out of his face. I was just swigging from my bottle all day, uh, all night from like five until like midnight or like probably later when they told us to get the fuck out of his house. Uh, the guy who was driving us back, someone shoved me from behind while I was staggering around drinking his tequila. And I just poured it all over him and he was like, great, so if I get stopped by a cop and I stink of tequila, how do you think that's going to go down? And I was like, hey man, I didn't do that. And he's like, no you did. I was like, no, yeah, someone shoved me, it was, it was like, like, this guy shoved me from behind. I'm keeping names out of it. <laughs> I don't know why, it's not like crimes happen. Anyway, like... Two guys who I didn't really talk to and only vaguely knew. Uh, they they took the tequila from me. It's probably a bad idea. Uh, uh, and I was like, fine. And they're like, yeah, I think you've had enough. We're kind of worried about your health at this point. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, good, fair enough. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Good. Oh, it confused me because I pressed the button, but the thing came off at the same time, so it cancelled out my button. Okay, we'll do it without the panic-inducing invincibility dash, although this is probably going to make it much harder now. Let me just do that, though. This stuff is just... yeah. Just wait for them to go up and you can just... And you notice they have unique music for all these death routes, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, anyway, so finishing my crazy story, I was getting, like, I got halfway through this bottle, I don't know how I'm alive to this day. Um, probably more than halfway through, but I did spill a lot of it, so... Oh. Oh. There you go, okay. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Now, to get the all boxes gem, I think you actually have to go back, wouldn't you? Because it's, uh, you do that. 
and it's gonna like you have to do this other split path, but it's gonna be in an awkward angle facing the wrong way. It's just not a not a good time. And it's not that hard, so I can always come back and do that. But it's so tempting. Fuck it. I'll probably die now on this. So I'm being very conservative with my jumps. Oh! <laughs> oh, you're fucking kidding! Oh, okay. So I don't have to take the death route this time. I've lost the box progress. Oh, oh fine. We'll do the all boxes gem later. I just, I, I'm not in for that level of like. Because it's not like, you know, it's one of those things where it's like. It's not necessarily like it's doable, but you start putting that pressure on yourself. You're like, don't fuck up. One fuck up. One fuck up and it's done. The whole thing's done. It's a waste of time. Oh, it's all fucked up. You know, and like, normally you won't make a mistake and you'll be flawless. And the moment you put pressure on yourself, you're like, oh, the f you could duck them before. Oh, you could duck them before. That scared me. Jump scare crash. Ugh. Yeah, so it just becomes a case of like. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Why am I even bothering? What's the point? Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I panicked. You wouldn't stand up fast enough. Snecky. Got a snecky hitbox. And watch me die on the stupidly easy thing again. Yeah. Still nearly went over. Ah, oh, depth perception, why do you trick me so? Well, we got one gem. Uh, I'm gonna start doing some time trials in a minute. Just to kind of zhuzh it up a bit and try and get a bonus level. We only need three more, and then we got another uh, bonus level. You need to do the relics to get the gems, because some of them are hidden in bonus levels. You gotta do all the bonus levels, so you gotta get a certain amount of relics. Oh, fine! Oh, I just said I was gonna do time trials when I'm like getting all the boxes now. Oh, well, yeah. Anyway, let's finish my story about getting drunk at a party I wasn't even invited to. Uh, some guy that I only spoke to twice, uh, who was a bit, bit of a crazy guy himself, uh, he was like, yeah, uh, oh, 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 motherfucker. Children's game, everyone. I'm sitting here talking about getting drunk. He took the bottle from me and he took it to this other guy who was a big guy, a bit of a frat boy. No one really liked him because he was just so, so up his own ass, but they just let him hang out. Uh, what an asshole that guy was. And even his brothers and sisters knew, they were like, oh yeah, him is a fucking cunt. <laughs> and they're like, oh. Woo! Dragon. Speed Dragon. And they, they took it from me, and like one of them, they were both very drunk already, and they were taking shots of tequila. We're gonna do that again. It's very hard to keep this conversation going. But we went. Uh, yeah, they took the bottle from me, saying, I think you've had enough. We're kind of concerned for your mental health at this point, because you seemingly are trying to massacre yourself with fatal amounts of alcohol. And it's like, yeah, okay, fair enough. And then they go out and they do one shot, and immediately, they, they've already been drinking all night, they immediately, after one shot of tequila, one of them steals the other's shoes and the frat boy ass guy just punches that guy in the face because he steals his shoes and throws them in a bush, and he's like, don't throw them in that bush, man, I'm like, knock you the fuck out. And he's like, yeah, 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 because this guy's a bit like, uh... Bit like of a masochist, sometimes he's like, punch me in the face, and you're like, why? And he's like, no, I deserve it, punch me in the face, and you're like, no, <laughs> you know? And he was always a bit like that. Don't know what happened to him. Uh, anyway, he uh, 
stole this. Ooh, stole this guy's shoes. The demo. Yeah. And he said, "Don't put, don't throw my shoes away." And he threw them in the bush. And this guy just swung and knocked him to the ground, punched him to the ground. And I was like, "Look, I've been drinking from that bottle all night. And I'm just running around, going, uh, you know." And I'm like, "Standard drunk, not violent drunk." You guys have one shot because you're tequila virgins and you just instant rage. It's like so embarrassing. And they were like, yeah, yeah, that guy's going to have to go home now. And the other guy is pretty fucked up. So we're just going to let him sleep it off. <laughs> I was like, can I have my bottle back? And they were like, yeah, okay. And then I just drank some more. And then we went home. That was a long story, I'm sorry. Uh, let's do this one. I haven't done a time trial with Coco yet that isn't like a Coco only level, so I should try that as well at some point, just to see what her run animation is. I mean, I'm just like, any new content? It's kind of pathetic. Yeah. Oh, you fish. Out of the way, ho bag. I don't know what the fastest route is. Oh, it's not that. Oh, I got that guy out of the way. Don't need the gym path. I get the feeling that's going to be harder and slower. Ah, harder, slower. Ooh, Dino. Gimme. Let's go, Yoshi. Good. That's. That's a good bingo. Uh, do I get a mask anytime soon? Yeah, so that was a fun time, and the next time I drank that much tequila, I also drank that much of sake on top of the tequila. Got so drunk I fell off of the fridge and cut my arm on a rum bottle and was bleeding so profusely they were cleaning the blood off of the walls for like, this was in our house. <laughs> like my uh, the uni place I was at, and uh, they were cleaning the blood off of the walls apparently all night, and then I woke up the next day absolutely sick to my stomach, covered in a wrist bandage, going, why am I, what happened? And they were like, oh, you knocked yourself unconscious and started bleeding from the wrist at an alarming rate. We were really worried that you were going to die because we thought it hit an artery and I was like, oh, awesome. <laughs> and that's when I stopped drinking so abusively because it got real bad. Ugh, oh, fuck. I wanted to preserve that mess. This is actually quite hard. There we go. Oh, fuck, you your spins. It was poorly timed, like my life. Yeah, so that was fun. I used to be a real alcoholic mess when I was uh, growing up. <laughs> when I when I went through college and uni, I just drank like because all my all my uh, role models are people like Slash and Lenny. So I was like, oh man, I heard legendary stories about these guys. They they've drunk like entire fucking breweries and have been fine. It's fine. You can do that. And everyone's like, you, you really can't, and they're probably exaggerating in some cases. <clears throat> and in other cases, that's Lemmy, <laughs> you know? Like, Lemmy can drink at like a uh, pint of like Jägermeister and be fine. Uh, now he's very dead, so kind of sad. I'm sorry, Lemmy. Big fan of Lemmy. And as a result, you just kind of hit this... Uh, Assumption as a young kid of like, my first drink was at 14 and it was Jack Daniels. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just like, you just get to this thing of like, I want to be like, damn. So I was smoking, I was drinking, I was really trying to be cool. Didn't know anyone who would sell me weed. It's a bit of a pussy back those days. Oh, it doesn't matter with you. Sorry, Yoshi. And, uh... Oh, this is making it much slower. Please, there, thank you. Ah, uh, it's still not good. No hoodie guys. 
Oh. Ah, run away. Run away. Oh, fuck. Every time with that one. Oh. Piles of asses. We can't do it fast. We're not doing it at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, you ball sucker. Sorry, that was really inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, so when you're growing up and you're naive and you're sitting there going, that's like a livable amount of alcohol, a bottle of Jack Daniels a day, because I heard that's what Slash was doing, and Slash is cool, so it's fine. But like, yeah, Slash was also a heroin addict. I wouldn't suggest doing that, <laughs> like, you know, anytime soon. Uh, yeah, so, uh, kind of was just a huge drunk and was just like really abusively, self-harmingly drunk because I also had a lot of problems when I was like a teenager, as most people do. I was just like, you know, early teens, uh, early 20s and teenager, I was just like, yeah, no, my life's a fucking mess. I hate everything and everyone. I want to die. I don't care. So I'm just going to drink so much that everyone's like, ha, 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 that guy drinks a lot. And it's like, no, I drink a lot because I fucking hate everything and I want to die. Um, didn't die, nearly died. Then ironically, the moment I nearly died, uh, the moment I almost nearly died, I was like, oh shit, I need to stop doing this, I might die. <laughs> so clearly didn't actually want to kill myself. That was a revelation. Well, I'm concerned about my health when I nearly kill myself, so, uh, oh, every time. Oh, I'm pissed. It's every time that lava pit. Oh, oh, I don't trust you. Ooh, I don't trust you at all. Please give me a mask! Fuck you! Okay, we'll try again. Uh, yeah. I was a huge fucking mess. Uh, oh, come on then. Good. I don't even know what we're target time is. I never checked those things. Yeah, spin, spin, spin. Spin to win. Yeah, so nowadays I'm not that much of a drunk, although my tequila consumption is starting to make me think I maybe am a bit of a drunk. But then actually, like I'd say, I go for months without drinking, and then I drink a fair amount. Like, oh my god, oh, fuck's sake, that was preventable. Like maybe two or three drinks at a bar and I feel like shit, and I feel like I need to, I'm gonna die, and I'm pretty sure I've just got irreparable liver damage. And, uh, yeah, I'm just like, oh, well, you know, it's fine. <laughs> like, I'm sure it'll be fine if I just keep on, like, more sober drinks most of the time and don't drink that much. Then I buy, like, litre bottles of tequila and sat here like, fuck, gotta drink all this now. A lot of the time I'm using it for cooking. I cook a lot of Mexican food, so it's not actually being used in an alcoholic way. Although I don't know how much of it remains, you know? I haven't talked about it, but I'm pretty sure that kind of slide jump tornado sideways spin that I've been doing there a few times at a porn screen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's new tech. I don't remember being able to transition that quickly. And I don't remember him reacting. Oh, for fuck's sake. Prevent? Oh, preventable. Ah, oh, this is getting harder. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. Fuck you, look at you, this is my bastard. Um... There you go. Nope, not dealing with you, Sonny. So, get a lot of air time on that. Little bitch fish. Uh, yeah. <coughs> But, you know, when you're young, you, oh, you drink a lot, you think you're cool, then you start to... I can't even get past this bit now, what the hell? My advice to people is, don't let it be until you nearly kill yourself, because that shit's pretty hard to come back from. <laughs> and uh, I have a few mates who have nearly hospitalized themselves from over-drinking. Uh, you can really easily get alcohol poisoning because everyone's toler oh, tolerances are different, actually. 
So, you know, you hear Slash and Lemmy are doing this shit. It's like, yeah, but Slash and Lemmy don't have jobs to go to that involve them getting up early in the morning. And, like, they probably don't, like, I don't know, like, it's, they, they don't live very long. Some of these people, some of them live for fucking ever, and you're like, how? And it's like, you gotta remember, alcohol is literally poison. <laughs> so, you gotta kind of, uh, moderate it a little bit. I still drink, though. I keep saying to myself, I'm gonna stop drinking for good soon. And, like, I go, like, from, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months without drinking. And so someone says, hey, do you want to go out drinking? I'll have a couple of beers and then feel a little bit shitty afterwards. And then it's just, like, a much more casual intake. And they're like, you're not drinking much. It's like, I only drink one or two now to be happy, you know? So I fucked up my liver, <laughs> mostly. Now, don't hit the lava. There you go. Now, don't. It, oh, I did it again! Oh, why am I jumping over it? Just go around it, you dumbass. Oh, I'm so dumb. Why am I so dumb? Oh, oh you bitch! Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is taking way too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spin, spin, spin. Spin to win. So impressive. I got a spin to mine's bigger, there we go. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, so yeah, I used to drink a lot. I uh, still have a lot of tequila and soju in the house, but the thing is I'm not actually quite an addicted person. I can, I'm the kind of guy who hates himself enough that he's just going to go through a withdrawal symptom and just sit there and go, fine, I know what this is and I'm just going to sit and sweat through it. So, like, when it comes to things like, for example, I used to smoke cigars quite infrequently. Then there was a period of time where I started to smoke them more frequently. Then I stopped smoking them after that because I started to hate the taste. And, like, yeah, it kind of gets to the point where... Uh, it kind of gets to the point where I just got sick of the taste and I didn't like it anymore. So that was, it was very easy for me to say, oh yeah, and, but I went through withdrawal with that. And that was, uh, that was a time where I was like in an unair conditioned apartment in Hong Kong in the middle of summer. And I was just sitting there sweating and feeling awful and feeling like shit and just going, and my brain going, you could really do with smoking a fucking huge cigar right now. And I was like, I'm not going to answer that because I don't want to go outside. It's too hot. I'm just going to sit here. And you're like, yeah, I'm aware. It's probably not an aggressive. Oh, good. I got the gold time for that. Uh, yeah, it's not really an aggressive, uh, like, addictive response because... Well, I mean, it's nicotine, and it was large hits of tobacco at once, but, like, um, it's not like it was heroin, so it's like, I'm sure I'm fine. Quite easy for me to say no to that. I'm probably more addicted to caffeine than anything. Okay, let me save it there, and then we'll do another session of time trials. And then we'll get a bonus level, hopefully, at the end of the next session. So that was... Yeah, we got the purple gym. We did a fair amount.